Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be installing Windows 3.11 onto Windows 98. And I've already copied over all of the setup files, so all we got to do now is just restart into uh, MS-DOS mode and get started. custom setup. We're going to change this to win311 and this will be a new setup. Uh, all of the above. Username is going to be user. Continue. Uh, we've got no printers to set up. Uh, I don't want it to do that. And continue. Well, that looks good. And there we go. Uh, we do not want to say modify our auto exec back and config.sys. So we're going to click on let you make the modifications later. Hit continue. And then not save on that, not save on that. We're going to skip the tutorial. And then we're going to return to MS-DOS mode. So if you start to type in win.com right now, it's going to come back with an error and say that the system has been halted. So now we have to restart the computer entirely. So now it restarts back into Windows 98. Hit OK, and we'll go back into MS-DOS mode. Return to MS-DOS mode, hit OK. So now you'll go into the folder of Windows 3.1. And then we'll type in win.com slash s. This, the slash s is going to say bypass uh, the checks of what version of DOS it's running. And there we have it. We have a full running version of Windows 3.11 onto, onto Windows 98. Now if we hit exit, we'll go back into DOS mode. We'll hit exit, we'll restart into Windows, and then we're going to make ourselves a little shortcut so that way it makes it a little bit easier to say, uh, boot into Windows 3.11 without having to go into DOS mode, restarting into DOS mode. All we got to do is go here to start, accessories, notepad. We're going to say, type in C colon backslash. You call them backslash win three one one slash win dot com forward slash s and then we are going to hit save as we're going to turn it into a batch file call it win three one one dot bat Hit save, close out of there, Oops. go right here, hit properties, go to program, advanced, MS-DOS mode, and hit OK, hit OK, and we'll pop this over to the uh, desktop. And we will restart and we will go right into Windows 3.11. That's all there is to it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
You guys have a nice day.